Hi, I'm Karen. I'm a Sonoma County Master Gardener. I'm here at Harvest for the Hungry. It is near the end of May and we have this lovely row of tomatoes right here. And uh, as maintenance, we are doing a little bit of pruning at the base. So if you look at this one here, we've got, l it's a lovely plant, but we do have lots of leaves down here and many are touching the ground. And there are soil borne pathogens that are not helpful to the plant. And the more leaves you have touching the soil, um, ideally you won't have any, but the more you have touching the soil, the more chance there is of uh, pathogens that you don't want um, entering the plant. So we're going to prune these. Some of them, if they're small, we're going to prune the whole, the whole piece. Some of them, if this is a bigger, we'll just prune off the parts that are touching the ground. Let's see if we can see in there a little bit more. We've got lots down here. I'll show you what I'm taking off, so in case you can't see the cut I'm making. But you can see we're just starting to bring it up off of the ground. We do want to make sure we, we're leaving enough for photosynthesis, so you can't just whack off a whole bunch. But um, do get anything that because is touching other places the ground. Are bad, like Denver. So I'm going to take off this whole, it is a larger branch, but you can see the branch itself is touching the soil, which isn't a good thing. So this comes off, and same with this one on the other side. Tomatoes need to be planted deep, and so you do get this very situation, and there's nothing wrong. You just um, do the correct maintenance on it. I'm going to get this one over here that was touching the soil, and that's just a leaf. Probably the end of this one that's touching the soil. So you can see we've got plenty left here. I might do a little bit more tidying on that. But the other thing I wanted to note on this is you can see some water droplets on the top here. We are not overhead watering. That is also not a good practice for tomatoes. Um, we do have drip irrigation down here. So um, best if you don't have drip irrigation, then make sure you're watering at the base and not, not on top. 